If you're an INTP, do you do these five things? Number one, when you start thinking of something alone and you put together the best logical string of and like um, also uh, arguments to another person's argument or just how to explain something, do you stop thinking about it so that hopefully then when you actually have to say it in someone that matters or that needs to hear this topic that you are conjuring up, that you'll actually stop thinking so that you would be able to intuitively speak the right things rather than having to say it perfectly the first time when you're all by yourself and then you're trying to remember what you said rather than just intuitively saying the the perfect line of of logical strings that you put across when you were all by yourself. Do you do that? Number two, um, do you love awkward questions? I love awkward questions. I actually prepare my life for awkward questions. INTPs, I believe all of them love awkward questions. If you feel like that would rip in, if you feel like a question you want to ask would rip into the souls of modern men, INTPs are actually ready to answer with quite a amount of delight. You'd be surprised. INTPs and peer pressure. Do you find yourself as an INTP not really caring for peer pressure? You might do something because, well, it's interesting rather than actually because they asked you to or pressured you to for the sake of being cool or because they're pressuring you to. I don't think INTPs actually care for peer pressure. We can care less. However, whatever you're doing may be interesting and we may give it a shot, at least for once, to have the experience and think about it later. INTPs would rather think all day. Why go outside when there's so many thoughts to explore in your mind? If you're an INTP, do you feel this? Oh, it's a sunny day. However, I'm thinking, how in the world would a panda bear invent a flotation device so that it can take over the world and harvest other people's organs? More specifically, um, poachers. Because it's an interesting thought. And before you know it, you might have also invented, you know, some kind of transportation device. You know how INTPs work. So would you rather think all day? Number, whatever number I'm on, four. Walking in circles. Do you find yourself, as an INTP, walking in circles? Constantly walking when you think, talking to yourself verbally out loud, and then freak out when someone might walk in on your personal session time, talking to yourself, and all that jibber-jabber. I think that was number five. So if you're an INTP, do you serve, serve yourself? <laughs> serve yourself all day. Do you feel like you do these five things? And if you do not, well, I'm sorry, you might not be an INTP, but you may be. I don't know. <laughs> it's a free world. If you are not an INTP and you find other INTPs doing these things, what do you think of these oddities that INTPs do? I would love to hear your opinion and your opinion, because <laughs> it's the internet. We have opinions. Even though I may be in America, your opinion can still matter. I may still hate you for it, but that's... <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm an INTP. I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> See you in the next video. <laughs> I missed the button.